good morning and welcome to another video around Barcelona. So today we are a couple of days post marathon now. Spending a bit of downtime together with my partner and I'm out on a ride while she's working. About 100-ish K, all going well. I'm a bit worn out to be honest with you so I'm just kind of taking it as it is. And this is a route that one of my mates, Charles, recommended to me who lives out here, who I know from back in London days, basically. So yeah, mix of gravel, mix of road, about 1,300 meters of climbing, 100 odd K, out into the hills behind Barcelona, and then back, basically. A bit gravelly, hopefully. But yeah, see how it goes, and I'll show you my ride. I think I'm actually riding down an old river or something at the moment or was a river or something I'm not really sure but we'll see we'll see what happens always quite good getting local recommendations from people they know stuff that aren't necessarily that obvious I would not have turned down this bit if I'm honest but Charles's route, we'll see where we go. So it finally feels like I've left the city. It's definitely something that I am not so used to anymore, now living in the peaks. It's just how long it takes to ride out of a city. It's like an hour. And not particularly the most enjoyable, but when you get out, Kind of makes it worth it and right now i'm in proper farmland way better into a quarry and normally there's never any issues in the quarry but a very angry Spanish man decided he didn't want me to go that way today so I'm gonna start looping back to where I started and just mooch about a bit see where I end up course and Charles was like oh, okay no stress how about you just go up one of the toughest road climbs in Barcelona <laughs> instead and I was like oh okay <laughs> so uh, Rat Panet I think is the name so we can find a sign something like Rat Panet it goes into the Garaf Park but yeah he was like just do one of the hardest climbs in the region, which I'm already on. And then it should loop back onto the route, hopefully. All going well. But get out of this monster. Four and a half K, with an average gradient at 10%. <sighs> ho, ho, ho. Well, made it to the National Park, and we're in. <sighs> it's not flat. Definitely not flat. Someone spray painted moustaches. Hey! That black bit, 20%. Oh, Jesus. 2.2k to go. Still 175 meters. Oh, this is punchy. Hello, hello, hello. That is a savage climb. Fucking hell. But the view. Definitely worth it for the view when you get your breath back. 
lots of plus 20 percent you want a challenge that is one to do outside of barcelona Next big climb, seven and a half K, 250 meters of climbing, gravelly. Nice change. What they often do are these like Spanish gravelly pathy roads is a concrete slab the steep bits like you just saw then just to make it a bit easier to get some traction on the rest of it it's like this okay Charles <laughs> this section is worth the climb this is amazing absolutely incredible gravel this section is amazing it's just absolutely amazing incredible gravel not far from barcelona wow roads 65 odd k done well over a thousand meters of climbing a bit chilly now
into Barcelona now. So many cycle lanes that are, I think when you get your head around it, it's actually great. It's just getting your head around it because you're quite often riding on the opposite side of the road to where you would be, if that makes sense. It's a little bit of a head when you're used to riding on the opposite side of the road to here anyway. Right, that's it. My Barcelona riding is finished. Just gotta climb all the way to the top. Oh, damn lip being too small. Anyway, hope you enjoyed these videos. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one.